and call you a dork like I did a couple years ago because <laughs> I really I really rock with you. I really rock with you. But now back to Steiny and Guru on ninety five seven The Game. I'm kicking myself right now. Why? Because I should have started the show. I don't know. You're that flexible. With what I'm about to say, instead of what we what I did say, but that's okay. I was thinking about this, and I know. Look, maybe I'm getting hung up on the word failure when we talk about last year's 49ers. But yeah, you got to get. I never said that word. Okay, unsuccessful. Would you say that? Disappointing. Okay, disappointing's fine. Disappointing's a fair word to use. But he, here's here's the way I view sports. And I remember now saying this last year, right around this point, okay? And I could have been wrong. I was almost wrong. I was almost wrong. On what? So, two years ago, Brock Purdy starts five games Yeah. in the regular season for the Niners. Five. Mm-hmm. Okay? They go to the playoffs. Five and oh. They go to the playoffs. They get to the NFC Championship game. Brock Purdy gets hurt, right? Yep. So what I remember saying before the start of last, next year, Steiny, you think this? I think, hey, Steiny, the 49ers are going to win the Super Bowl? I don't think so. Why not? I said, you know why? I just think it's going to be hard, and it might be a touch realist, unrealistic. I'm looking at it like, are you really telling me that Brock Purdy, who quarterbacked five games in the NFL regular season, was a seventh-round draft pick, is going to lead a team to the Super Bowl in the first year he's ever quarterbacked a team from the start of the season to the end of the season. I was almost wrong. He almost did it. So what I take out of what the way I look at this team and the way I look at sports is – that's why last year, it could have been frustrating, disappointing, all those things. But the 49ers learned last year that they can win a Super Bowl with Brock Purdy. And so now that question isn't even being asked, whether or not Purdy can do it. And when people say, well, I think last year was their best chance, I would say, you're crazy. Because last year... You think that was the best year you had to win a Super Bowl when you were coming into a season with a quarterback who'd only played five games? I would say they have a better, with if, if all things were on balance, they have a better chance this year because now Purdy has a season and a half behind him and he's got two playoff appearances under his belt and now he's played in a Super Bowl above, like now it's official. Like, they can do this with Brock Purdy. There were still questions, I think, about that last year. There were. But what are the questions now? The questions now have changed. And they're not about football. They're, they're about not, contracts. Right. They're about I'm, your no. first-round receiver. They're about why you paid McCaffrey but didn't pay this guy and didn't pay that guy. I, I think you're no, right. I'm, I, I acknowledge all those, but I'm just looking – specifically like at Purdy. Like, let's not minimize what he showed last year and let's not pretend like we weren't worried about whether he could do it last year at the beginning of the season before he'd ever played a full season. Well, I would I would disagree on now we know that Purdy can win a Super Bowl. Well, but when I say win, I mean guy to team. Like, no, no, you no. know what I'm saying. Well, what, what I learned through the playoffs is that Purdy can take a leap, but that he needs to get better. Like okay, Brock fair. Purdy last last postseason, I thought he was good. He was for for someone who you know had only had what was it seven eight starts under his belt. And, uh, well, I guess the previous season, then going into his first full season as a starter, like yeah, Purdy was was pretty good. But in the postseason, what he was, you know, about 62 percent completion. 230, 40 yards, three touchdowns, one pick in three games. Like, his numbers from the regular season decreased. No I'm, doubt. I'm not saying that he has to get better, has to, you know, his numbers have to be 
uh, better than they were in the regular season because he had one of the most efficient passing seasons ever. But this year, he has to be better in the postseason. The qu- okay. And that, it sounds like you believe he can be. Of course. Of course he can be because I... I, I didn't come away from last off, last postseason thinking that, oh, well, now, now we know Purdy's good enough to win a Super Bowl. Well, I... Well, I don't, I don't know about that. But what what I'm saying is, he is twenty whatever you, he, four, yeah. Like, I don't associate what happened to him, whatever you deem or people think happened to him in the postseason last year, as anything other than a young quarterback playing in the playoffs earlier in, early in his career who's probably going to experience some growing pains. But while he's experiencing experiencing those growing pains in the postseason, they've made it to a conference championship and a Super Bowl. So that, to me, is why last year was it was hugely important because now you know that they can do this or at least are capable of doing it. I, they were capable of doing it with that team. They were capable of capable of doing it against those opponents up until the Super Bowl. But but I I mean I just look at it like okay what how about if I give you this? Um, boy, the 49ers should have won the Super Bowl last year. God, Purdy just needed to be better. Well, you know what? I'll bet he is better. Next, the next postseason he plays in, and it has nothing to do with Purdy. It has to do with I think a, I think most quarterbacks are going to be better in their second playoff game than their first, than their fifth instead of their third, than their tenth instead of their fifth. And so, yeah, but, like that's the way I look at it. Statistically speaking, the best playoff game that Purdy has ever played was the very first one he played in. Okay, he threw three touchdowns against the Seattle Seahawks. He was like that's the best game he's played. All right. He hasn't had a better statistical game since then. Okay, and I'm not saying that he he never will, but right, and I and I would say, well, yeah, that makes sense because I'll bet you that Seattle team of the five playoff games he played against were the fifth best of the five playoff teams he played in his five playoff games. Yeah, but okay, what what I'm saying is, all right, Brock Purdy, I I don't know, I, I I just don't, I don't think he proved enough to me. What he did prove last offseason is that he's not going to falter or he's he's not going to fold because his team is down or he's playing in disadvantageous positions. That's what he proved to me last postseason. He has not proved to me yet that he's a Super, super Bowl caliber winning quarterback. I think the Niners right. had a Super Bowl caliber team last year. They needed him to be better, and he I wasn't. I got to go, my brother. Um... Boy, I want to respond, but we got to go. Uh, what's coming? What's coming up next on the game is presented by Fremont Bank, celebrating 60 years of full-service banking with no compromises. That segment was.